Hello, my name is Caroline. I am an MS1 and I have completed my first two months of med school. A lot has happened since I last posted since I posted my last video. Uh, as I said, I was studying for finals. Um, and so that really took a lot out of me. A lot happened <laughs> for finals. We had three exams, histology, anatomy, and our like preclinical sciences, which is biochemistry, cell biology, genetics, cardiology, and the like. Y you know, all in all, like studying for exams, like I'm definitely gonna have to change up some of the ways that I study. What's done is done, it's all happened. I'm done with term one. I start term two tomorrow. I think we're starting our uh, term off with some urology maybe. Gotta love those kidneys. I have also found myself a new cat owner. <laughs> I know, right? This is Milo. He is a two month old orange tabby cat that I found in a Kroger parking lot approximately two days ago. And he has overtaken my life and all of my money. So <laughs> I think I'm going to keep him because he's very friendly. I don't know if you can hear him purr. He's always purring. Say hello, Milo. And he's such a sweet little baby. It's very funny during finals I was you know, as per usual, Google searching where can I find a cat in Houston just because I like to entertain the idea. And then on my way to the grocery store to buy flour to bake bread with, I found this little buddy underneath a truck, like I said, in the middle of the parking lot. So I scooped him up with the, all the intention to just give him a bath, take him to the vet, make sure he's okay, and drop him off at the local animal shelter. But now that I have him, I just kind of have started caring for him. I feel like a, a, I wonder if this is what it's like to have kids slash be a new mother because Milo has got a little bit of a uh, diarrhea problem. <laughs> I don't know if this is TMI, but he's got a little bit of a diarrhea problem right now. So yours truly has been up at all hours of the night and morning, I guess, just monitoring this guy's poop and trying to figure out this whole litter box business. Anyways, today we are going to be taking several doctor personality tests because I thought this might be a fun thing to do and see what sort of doctor the internet thinks I should be because I myself do not know. So let's get started. Let's see what the internet says about me and my doctor personality. Which medical specialty would suit you, Quiz? What do you enjoy most about medicine? People. Thinking about difficult problems. The knowledge involved. The fact it is real applied science and is always changing. Being practical and learning new skills. The fast pace, having to think on your feet and make important decisions. I think all of these, but probably people. When it comes to the work environment, which of these statements do you most agree with? I like having a bit of chaos to control. Mm. I like everything in its place. Yep. What is your worst quality? Whoa, this quiz is getting real deep. Um, hmm. I always remember people's names. I sometimes over- I don't overanalyze. Well, I overanalyze my own- my own behavior. I'm not really much of a people person. False. I can't switch off properly. Maybe. I tend to nag people about unhealthy lifestyle choices. I can be a bit vague sometimes. I'll go with this one. Which of the following qualities do you look for in your own doctor? This one. Well, actually, a logical thinker who understands the body sounds like the best doctor. Oh no, this one. They are highly skilled and practical. Don't want an impractical doctor. When it comes to patient contact, what is most important? That they're put asleep, I don't really want to talk to them. Mm. That I remember who they are so they know I care. That I have a lot of time to get to the heart of the patient's issue. Hmm. 
If you weren't going to be a doctor, which job would you like? Honestly, wedding planner, I have thought about that. Like, I think in another life, I would have maybe been a decent interior designer or a wedding planner or event planner. So I'm going to go with this. What is my result? It looks like you would be best suited working as a surgeon. Wow. You're most suited to being a surgeon. You're very practical and good with your hands. This is true. Check out this top that I knit, uh, excuse me, crocheted. Um, you might not always be the best at patient interaction, but they can't be held against you when they're asleep most of the time you're there. You don't get squeamish and like working in a tight-knit team. It's a long road to consultancy, but you will enjoy the challenges along the way. I do not think this is an American quiz. <laughs> consultancy we don't say that in the u.s um want to find out more about being a surgeon blah 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 blah. all right so quiz one says that i should be a surgeon what will the other quizzes say all right this is a six question quiz by prof pro prop <laughs> can't speak pro profs quizzes what part of the brain do you admire this is a very weird um stock image to go with this question but okay uh medical health point of view just for clarification <laughs> well personally i think the skin is pretty freaking cool flesh mm. what does that go with flesh we'll go with skin do you want to live a wealthy but hectic life this is a very difficult question because I think my priorities right now as a 23 year old um, having just adopted a cat and being having loans is kind of like this is gonna be skewed like I of course I'm thinking about money so I think I think we'll go the middle choice out of these wealthy choices being that yes being wealthy is one of my goals Although I do want to say that um, I don't think money is everything when I have a family. Just right now, it would be nice to have money. <laughs> I guess then my, having just said that, I guess maybe this aligns better with my future priorities. If you were sick, what would you do? Oh dear, feels like I'm in labor? What? If you were sick, what would you do? I will be fine. If you had to go to a hospital for residency, which one would it be? You know, Stanford sounds pretty nice. California. I do like Baylor. Houston is pretty cool. Definitely would not want to go to Cleveland Clinic. I don't know where Henry Ford is. Um, Baltimore and John Hopkins. Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Mm -mm. Way too cold. We'll go with Stanford. Are you planning to get married and start a large family in the future? <laughs> yes, everyone has to. Mm, no, everyone does not need to get married and or have kids. Uh, I also don't want more than two kids. Thank you. Yes, children are the greatest gifts we'll ever receive. I feel like these answer choices are very pointed towards the extremes. We'll just go with I'm undecided. How long do you want your work shift to be? Uh, <laughs> one to two hours with a high salary? Who works two hours and gets a high salary? Eh. As long as I like my specialty. Right, it won't matter about the hours. Maybe. Maybe. You got pediatrician? You seem to be a patient person. That is a good quality for being a doctor who treats children. You also have a playful nature that will come in handy when dealing with younger clients. I don't think I'll be a pediatrician. So I'm saying this was an inaccurate quiz. Let's see what the next one says. And another one, what's the ideal medical specialty for your personality? I like working with kids. 
I think I would prefer working with adults. I prefer long-term relationships with patients. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with short-term relationships. I prefer to see tangible results of my efforts quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a patient person because I can like spend hours doing things like this, crocheting a top or knitting a sweater, but I always like to like see what comes of it. So I do like to see tangible results of my efforts. It doesn't necessarily have to be quickly, but I do like to see tangible results. So which one of these answer choices aligns with that? I guess that's like I would like to see immediate results sometimes. I'm good at making decisions rapidly. No. I have good listening skills. Yes. I want to do everything in medicine. Yes, as long as every day is different. Eh. Go with that one. Choose a favorite class, physiology, genetics, anatomy. Well, definitely not genetics. I really dislike genetics, actually. Um, physiology, I haven't really taken many physiology stuff in my courses yet. And then, so I guess that leaves anatomy. Women's health is extremely important to me. Yes. I'm good at spotting subtle details. This one. The following describes you. I like people, but I also need my quiet time. Working with my hands is very important. Yes, I would like it to be a part of my practice. You'd probably enjoy OBGYN. Is that because I said women's health was very important and I would like to be an advocate for women's health? I'm going to retake this test and see if that was the one thing skewing my result. What do you know? My results now choosing the exact same answers except for the women's health question is surgery. You'd probably enjoy surgery. All right, on to the next one. That's two for surgery, one for pediatrics. I guess it's one and a half for surgery, one for pediatrics, and a half for OBGYN. We need a tiebreaker quiz. Okay, no quiz video um, is complete without a BuzzFeed quiz. So I found this one. If you were a doctor, which kind would you be? And it is your classic BuzzFeed quiz. Pick an ideal vacation spot because that totally will tell you what medical specialty you should be. Um, where do I want to go? I want to go all these places. The Louvre in Paris. I would love that because then I could go get a croissant afterwards. Or I would love to go to, um, that's Greece, right? Santorini. We'll go with that. I would I would really love to go to Greece. I also go to, would love to go to Paris. But anyways, um, pick an instrument to play. Piano, because I once took piano lessons. Which photo bothers you the most? What's going on here? This is pretty creepy. I don't like that. Makes me uncomfortable to see that image. Uh, which quote do you live by? The biggest risk is not taking any risk. There are no shortcuts or secrets to success. In the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. Can't change instruction, but I can adjust my sails. If you want to lift yourself up, lift up someone else. If you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. That's actually kind of profound, huh? Um, but what do I live by? <sighs> Flexibility, baby. Okay, pick a coffee to drink. Iced with milk. 
French pressed. Okay, I don't drink coffee typically. I will drink tea. Um, but I do love a good iced coffee with milk. Like, I'm basic. I like iced coffee. <laughs> What's really for breakfast? Oh, what's breakfast, sad face? If I eat breakfast, I would love to eat a breakfast sandwich. Yo, I love breakfast sandwiches. Okay, lastly, what is your ideal pet? Well, I guess since I have a cat, I have to say cat, don't I? OBGYN! A specialty combining both medicine and surgery sounds like a good fit for you. You have an affinity for women's health issues. Or how did they get that from this quiz that asked where did I want to go for vacation? <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong, but... Okay. Uh, you have an affinity for women's health issues and as someone who is typically reward dependent... That is true, I am re reward dependent, I guess you could say. You will love the satisfaction of helping bring little humans into the world. Well, all right. After having taken four very kind of casual medical specialty quizzes, the tallies are one for pediatrics, one and a half for surgery, and one and a half for OBGYN, which is kind of funny um, that that has happened that those are my results because i'm actually setting up shadowing with a trauma surgeon to go check out surgery and then i actually have thought about a lot about OBGYN because i think that does align with the advocacy aspect of medicine that really appeals to me um i think it's ridiculous that and sorry to like get in a little into politics but i think it's ridiculous that in 2020 we have we're still having these debates about abortion and women's and a woman's right to health like this is a supreme court issue in 2020 and that just baffles me so you know strangely i guess these quizzes were were kind of accurate this has been fun just to i guess see what the internet thinks i should be for medical specialty wise definitely something that's been on my mind as i enter into my third third month of medical school only third month of medical school and and start to think about these big decisions that i will have to eventually make but i also have tons of time before i have to really choose anything so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed watching me take these personality quizzes <laughs> i love personality quizzes comment below if you feel so inclined to say what uh, medical specialty you think I should go check out. I will see you in my next video. Bye.